Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, so I want to come on here and talk about the whole Ray J and Princess Love situation. So if you guys don't know, this damn ratchet-ass reality TV drama has been playing out on Instagram for like the past six days, okay? So what initially happened is that Ray J posted a picture of him, Princess, and their daughter um, in Vegas, basically. I think it was for like the Soul Train Music Awards. And he posted, you know, some sweet nothings in the caption. So basically, Princess comes and she blasts him by saying that, you know, Ray J's fake. He left her stranded and she called him ugly. Okay, so then from there it just spun into a bunch of mess people want me to do videos on this I want to just sit back and watch how all this fuck we played out. So I just been collecting my damn clips Okay, so basically princess says that she wants to file for divorce from Ray J that Ray J is cheating on her She also came out the other day and said that she had proof that Ray J was cheating with some escorts Meanwhile Ray J is running around, you know Las Vegas looking for her looking for the daughter trying to defend himself saying that he just wants to see his child even his mama Sonya Norwood she got involved and said a few things on social media y'all go ahead and check this out All right, y'all just saw what Sonya Norwood had to say. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. I'm gonna go ahead and play these clips for you guys. Y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Okay, so, like I said, I wasn't gonna say anything, but since people wanna get on social media and act like they're the victim, and act like they know where we're at, which they don't because, okay, okay, I'll stand up. <laughs> they don't know where we're at because they haven't called, haven't checked, and I'm still blocked. So, let's see, where should I start? Okay, so about two weeks ago, yes, get your popcorn. About two weeks ago, I found a, an extra phone that Ray had been hiding, or that Ray, he wasn't hiding, he had it. And um, he had been giving his number out. He had admitted to me that he was nope a1 i'm doing it i don't care he want to be on his page acting like the victim <laughs> leave me alone a1 <laughs> so he i found this phone that he had i went through it i confronted him about it he was honest well he tried to lie at first he was honest and um he basically admitted that he had been entertaining, you know, some women, the stay women, because my baby's right here. And, you know, I told him, just be honest with me. If, you, if you're if you honest with me, then we can get through it. And he, um, he pretty much made it seem like he did it because we had been arguing a lot lately. And so I'm like, okay, well, we have another baby on the way. I just want to be on the same page. Let's just, um, let's just put it behind us one last time and let's just move forward, right? We're going to have better communication, you know, like we can have kids, but if we don't have some type of like foundation, communication, then it'll never work. So, so I, we put it behind us. So we come to Vegas for the Soul Train Awards and he, he, I didn't want to come, but he asked me to come and Melody to come because he wanted us to come to the show. So we come, we're here for about two days and he asked me to move to Vegas. 
And I'm like, no, I don't want to move to Vegas. And so he's like, well, can you at least consider it? And I'm like, no, I don't want to move to Vegas. It's like, it's not even, not even, not even considering it. I don't want to move to Vegas. This is not the place to have kids. This is not a place to raise your kids. And I just don't like it here. There's too many distractions. You know, you, you already like to gamble. There's way too many parties going on every night. And it's just not the place that I want to be. So I said, sarcastically, I said, well, you can move to Vegas, but I'm going to be in L.A. And so he got really mad and said that he, um, you know, he's trying to move our family somewhere where we can be like a little bit more stable. And I basically said, like, Vegas is not the place that I want to be. Like, why can't you just respect that? I don't want to move to Vegas. We could move anywhere else. I just don't want to move to Vegas. And so he gets mad and he's like, why would you tell me I could move to Vegas? You just want to live in two different places. And I'm like, I'm not really serious. Like, I'm not really saying, yeah, babe, move to Vegas and I'm going to be in L.A. We can live in two different places. I'm being sarcastic. So I took it as him just trying to find any reason to leave. So he left, didn't come back. He was out the whole night. And so the next morning, I didn't call him or anything because I'm like, okay, maybe he just wants to hang out with his friends, whatever. He'll be here by the time I wake up. So I wake up, he's still not here. And I'm like, so when, the next morning, I'm like, so you really want to just stay out all night off of some fake argument that we had like you can't really be serious and he's like you're selfish all you do is think about yourself you just you want to wear the pants in the relationship you want to be the king of the house like all this crazy stuff and i'm like and then he said um what what made me mad is because every time we get into an argument he starts talking about or alluding to like getting a divorce or saying, um, as long as I get to see my kids, it's like, why do you gotta take it there? So I said, you know what? I said, with the way you just get up and leave and disappear, I gotta get back to LA and I gotta get my mind right before this baby comes because with the way you move, I'm liable to be alone at any given moment. And so he said, well, I'm preparing to be alone too as long as I can see my kids Monday through Wednesday. I said, okay, well, we can just be separated then. And so he's like, not before I file first, you know? So the conversation got really, really ugly. We started like, you know, getting real disrespectful. And then, so he blocked me. So I couldn't call him, couldn't get in contact with him. It was time for me to check out the room. He left, he never came back, didn't tell me where he was going, um, didn't hear back from him. So I had to check out the next day and we ended up, so we ended up checking out of the hotel cause it was time to check out. And then I ended up checking up, checking into another hotel. And we're in another hotel right now. We are not where Ray is in the Skylofts. I have not talked to him. He has not unblocked me. He has not called me, hasn't checked on me or Melody. Um, so we're just here. And my car is here. And I'm trying to figure out a way to drive my car back because I'm over eight months pregnant and I have to pee every 30 minutes. I don't want to have to stop in the middle of nowhere driving from Vegas to LA. That's a four and a half, five hour drive. So that, you guys, is everything that happened. I put that on my kids. That's it. That's everything that happened. It all started off a stupid argument because I said I wouldn't move to LA. And he took that and used that as a reason to stay out all night and hang out with his friends and not call, not check. Still haven't talked to him. 
I don't know what he's talking about. I'm over there. Like, he can see me from his window. No, he can't because I'm not even there anymore because we have to check out. So that's the whole story. And I wasn't going to say anything because I just felt like I said too much. And, oh, like, after the argument that we had, he posted that picture on his Instagram. And that's what ticked me off because it's like, why would we say all that to each other? And then you block me and then you want to post a family picture. That's what makes me like that's what ticks me off but I just we'll see what happens when I get back to LA but I I don't want to be married anymore period I don't have time for this this is not love and I'm done It's a divorce party, y'all. You know, we can go in here and we can have a conversation. If y'all want a drink, I'll make y'all a drink. So, welcome. Come on in. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I want to play some foosball. cannabis company is called William Ray LA. It would be an honor for me to roll up one with y'all and um, just shoot the shit, you know? Just trying to figure this shit out together, you know? Everybody needs a little advice sometimes. So, I might need some right now. Okay? I'm gonna roll up. Um, and I just want y'all to know that We haven't left Vegas. We've been in Vegas. Um, hey, get that remote for me, please, my, my brother. I'm going to open up this, this thing so they can see outside. I did the pre-show for, um, for Soul Train, and then after that, we, uh, we, was at, we was at another hotel around the way. But we, we were on our way back to L.A., and, um, and then uh, what, Princess Photo Shoot got canceled, right? Yeah. Princess Photo Shoot got canceled, so we all decided to drive back. Me, her, Truth, and the baby. We drove back to Vegas. We checked in. Oh, wait, we went to the grocery store first. Got a bunch of shit from the grocery store. And um, and then we went back to Vegas, and we uh, checked in. And Princess started cooking the baby food. Um, I started going to look for offices because, you know, I felt like this was a good place to reside and to just chill, you know? And um, and then that's it. We've been here ever since. We haven't left. Um the reason why I'm saying this is because there's been a lot of, like, chatter about that. And I'm like, okay, first thing, you like, oh, I don't have to prove myself to nobody. But then after a while, as the story keeps escalating, you go, well, damn, I think a lot of people are starting to really believe that um, we, we, we was not, we're not in Vegas. Uh, that's the other remote. That little skinny one that looked like a phone. I'm like, damn, so they don't believe we in Vegas? Talked to one of my business partners today. He said, well, so you went home and came back? I told him, no. We've been in Vegas this whole time. We haven't left. You get what I'm saying? So, hold on. So this hotel has like three different hotels. So they got the Park MGM, they got MGM, and they got a couple more. So um, some of the team is down in the other building, and Prinky and Melody, they right there. Okay. I can see them, I can see ballet, I can see everything. 
So we get here and, and, and now, um, and then let me let y'all know another thing. Uh, Pr Princess's Range Rover is parked in ballet. It's gassed up. So whenever they want to go and do anything, it's been there the whole time. I've, I've been catching the Uber. And I've been staying here because, as you know, we haven't been seeing eye to eye, which is okay because God is good and God blesses us all no matter what. You know, I love her. I would never do nothing bad and try to talk shit about my wife, no matter what the circumstances are. I don't care. It's not like that. You know why? Because that affects my daughter. Melody wouldn't be happy if I was talking about her mama. That, that's Melody's mama. That, 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 that won't happen. And I just think that that's how we all should look at things. Like, I would never tear her down. Because then I'm tearing me down. And then I'm tearing Melody down. And my unborn. So I feel like that's just a dangerous thing to do, especially when we all out here working hard and trying to make it happen. I had to break through a lot of a lot of ice to get you know the company where it is today and we had to we had to just work a lot of long nights and you know to get to this point where we like almost you know the finish line to go to the next race and something like this could just it could, it could just could affect it all you know it could really like mm -hmm. It could affect business really bad if somebody was to believe something like this. So I felt like I had to come on and just really express myself. It was the, it was the only way, you know? And it's sad because I'm here and they're there. But they right there, you know? And it's like, I feel like I got to show receipts because it's so real to where I don't want nobody to even second guess that we might have just came back or some shit. Hold on, where is... Hey, where is the... um? Where's that, where's that receipt showing how long we've been here? I've been in here since Monday, and we was at the Palms first since Saturday. So from Saturday to tomorrow's Friday, we haven't left Vegas. We've been right here in this room, and, and they've been right there. And people argue. Y'all don't argue with y'all people, and y'all need a little time. So I just I, I made time to just come right here. And what that sounded like when I read it was that you know, they were in some on some kind of street and they were cold and I'm like, they in the room. Like they chilling. And I and I'm trying to, you know, just I need some air. So I need to get my thoughts together. Things are getting heated. And so I needed some time. I needed a few minutes. I needed I needed to just just to just to pray, man. And through it all, you know, it just still it just still doesn't work out, you know. I know y'all about to hate me for this, I swear, but I'm about to smoke. Look, I know I got to stop. I got to hit this cigarette. All right? But, um, yeah, this the room. Show y'all what it is. Hey, true. Make your words bigger, nigga. I'm blind as fuck. Oh, wait, I put my glasses on. So, look, I'm about to look at some of these comments so I can answer whatever y'all commenting on. If I can read the comments before I get the fuck up off this live. Who smoked backwoods? Roll up one day in my neck. And, I, and I'm here. I'm on standby. I'm... I'm just waiting, you know? Just waiting to figure out, you know, where we gonna stay. I wanna, I, okay, fuck it. We just gonna shoot the shit, man. Cause I be feeling like, I be feeling like I, I shouldn't just, you know what I'm saying, shoot the shit because it be like, it's family. So we, we gonna, we gonna work it out. But a answer me this and y'all tell me if I'm wrong or not. I'm having another baby, and the baby coming in January, 
and we stay in a we stay in a nice spot, but it's and it's on Wilshire. We got a lot of help. It's, it's a condo, but I feel like Melody and Princess and the baby they they need a house. You need a house. You need some space, and you need to be able to move around. You know, a two bedroom for for two kids and me and Princess that's just not gonna work. So I want to get a house. So you know, that's that's one of the issues. You know. saying that's one of the issues is that it just oh man. it's like you know I just got off the phone with Safari I got off the phone with A1 and um we just we, we talked and they told me how they felt and what I should do I gave them uh, gave them my opinion you know what I mean? fuck I can't see what y'all writing Hold on. I can't see that shit, y'all. Hey, true! But yeah, so, you know, for all of the naysayers that say we not in... Hey! Damn, I forgot what I was gonna say to you. Fuck. Huh? I forgot. Shit. Hey, what I... Oh, yeah, make your words bigger. Oh, never, never mind, because then you gotta go in your sentence. Never mind, my nigga. But, um... Yeah, you know, I, I'm, I try to just keep a level head, you know, and just try to be the one to see it um, in, in a solution way. And not, you see how level the words are? And not a negative, you know, problematic way. Yeah. And I want to thank everybody for, like, you know, giving me positive words and stuff because you need that kind of stuff in a time like this. And Princess needs that kind of stuff in a time like this, too, because this ain't, this ain't easy. It's like... You know, when you have a private argument, you have a private situation, that's, that we can work that out. But when everybody's in your business and now everybody knows what, what, what's going on, so many opinions and so many people pulling you left and right, and then, then it gets confusing. And what's bad about that is that right after that, and that when everybody's going to sleep and everybody's alone, it's just, you're just there all by yourself. You know, it's like you, you, you right back to where you started. And I'll be feeling like we should have been there together when we started. And we right there together when it ended. Just us. And I love y'all. But I don't be thinking that y'all be needing to know all that, all that, you know, the little small stuff that's going on in a relationship. Because it just, it brings about so much doubt and so, so many questions for nothing. You know what I'm saying? But they say in truth. Because that truth gone, truth gone, I can't see it. Shit. Why did you block her? Well, why did I block her? I blocked her because at the time we was we was going through something, and so I didn't want to keep dwelling on the negative. And so for the time being, at that very moment, I did, you know, because sometimes you need quiet time to yourself to think. Sometimes you need to quiet time to think. She not, I'm blocked on what? A phone or on Instagram? Like, I blocked her on Instagram because some of the stuff she was putting up there was, to me, just not right. And I don't want to keep looking at it. I got to work and stuff, and I'll just, just get it out of my mind for right now. I'm, I don't DM Princess when I need her. And she know how to find me, whether no matter what. She know my phone number. She know my phone numbers. And y'all know my phone number now, too. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Where my phone? Y'all been blowing me up. All right, call me. I'm going to pick up. Hey. Oh, I got my phone. I'm tweaking tonight. <laughs> I need some sleep. I ain't even hit the weed yet. Um... Hold on, I'm going to turn my phone off. Princess, I want to see Melody right now. I can't get in touch with you. I don't give a fuck what people saying online or what you're saying. You know I'm calling your phone. I'm sorry. Whatever you want to hear, I want to see my daughter. Don't do that to me. I've been hitting you. You talk to Brandy. You talk to all your friends. You've been hitting people all day, but you ain't hit me. You ain't hit me none of these days to tell me where you at. You disappeared. 
Where's my daughter? I don't know where you are. You in Vegas, I know that. That's why I'm still here. Whatever you doing out there to try to make me look crazy, you keep doing that. But let me know where my daughter at. Please. <laughs> Comments already on your fucking head. What is it? Not again. <laughs> so what, nigga? Hey, what's up? Hey, it's Ray J. Huh? Hey, brother, it's Ray J. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. Hey, it's the... Huh? Is it, is it there? So, so Princess not, is not there she, with the Range Rover. I just want to, I just want to make sure, cause, cause um. I'm going out. Hmm. I'm just saying, like, since it's a TV show, and everybody like feeding into it. Let me just finish it off with a finale. Then I hope they don't ever want to see this again. Hello. Yo. All right, you gonna go check somewhere else? But you, yeah, just check and I'll call you in five minutes. All right. All right. Well. What? Yeah, like you sit back and you watch the motherfucker. Just the whole world like commenting on your shit and just like. Having an opinion on what your relationship should be, not to be, not knowing the whole story. So then you get fed up, like you don't see your daughter, you don't see nothing. You just not, just don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck about what nobody say. You start going into this real, like you know, defensive mode to try to protect your family and protect your, your, your you know what I'm saying? Like the people you love and all these motherfuckers in and out of your shit. And you just start to lose it. I don't give a fuck what people say. I'm on, I'm on, a, I'm looking for princess. I'm looking for melody. I got y'all people, y'all love. Y'all chilling with y'all people at night. Popcorn, enjoying the show while I'm sitting over here trying to figure it out. Trying to figure out what I'm going to do. How this whole thing is going to happen with the baby. Getting a divorce. Like, I, like, these, like it's not funny. You know what I mean? So it's like, since, since, since this is some kind of show, people think that this is this thing. And they got all these opinions. We'll just go the world. Go action. And I'm going to take you on my ride. It is what it is. Until, I, until I'm with my family and I'm good, then, then this is how I'm going to be. I don't have to be professional. I don't have to be nothing. That's my mama. Mama, look, I'm sorry, mama. But I'm, you know what I'm saying? And I'm on a, I'm on a mission.
Alright, so you guys just saw all that mess play out back and forth. Well, now, as of today, after all that crying, ranting, raving, and attention whoring, Ray J has been reunited with his daughter, Melody, okay? So today he posted a picture of him and Melody, and he also posted a video showing that he's back with her. Y'all go ahead and check this out. All right, so you guys just saw that clip. So now this entire situation is a hot damn mess, and this is what I'm going to say, okay? First and foremost, I believe that Princess Love does not have any friends because I don't understand why she takes everything to Instagram. She takes everything to social media. She just tells the world all her business, and then in the same breath, she'll cry about everybody being in her damn business. I'm like, where are her friends? Where is her family? Where are people that she can vent to and, you know, talk to outside of damn social media, okay? My thing is this. You you know, for, for people to be using the word stranded, to me, is just comical, okay? A person who's stranded is literally sitting at the Greyhound bus station not knowing what else to do, okay? You're not stranded in a high-end suite in Las Vegas. You know, I feel like they're doing all this for a storyline, possibly a spinoff show, you know, but at the end of the day, she knew what she was getting into when she got with Ray J. Now, Ray J's a cool-ass dude, don't get me wrong, but we all know that Ray J is into women, okay? Ray J has been into women. Ray J has been cheating on her. Ray J has been caught cheating on her, you know, several damn times, and she still chose to get married to him and have not one, but soon to be another baby with this man. You know, so at the end of the day, you can't change people, and she went into this relationship thinking that a marriage and a baby would change who Ray J was, and obviously, it's not going to do that they both need to grow up including ray j okay i hope you get it together mm -hmm. i hope you do so oh girl is there anything else you want you're a father now and a husband and you need to start acting like it it's not okay to be out here stepping off on your wife pregnant or not it's not okay there's too much shit out here to be doing that and then on top of that, if you're saying that your daughter is used to seeing you every day and waking up with you every day, then y'all need to figure this shit out. Y'all need to figure it out. All this back and forth and hiding of the child and crying for the child on social media, your daughter's going to grow up one day and see all this foolishness playing out. And for what? For, for Instagram attention, for likes, for, for views. I mean, the whole situation just makes no sense. I think at this point in time, they need to really go into counseling and decide seriously what they want to do. Do they want to be with each other? Does Ray J want to be faithful to his wife and be a good husband and a good father? Or do they just need to go their separate ways? They need to figure this out because all this back and forth got me dizzy and got my damn head hurting. And I'm not even the one in the damn marriage, okay? Y'all get y'all shit together and get it together for Melody quick, fast, and in a damn hurry, okay? Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Ray J and Princess Love, Love's week-long drama, honey. This has played out like a Dragon Ball T series, and I think it's finally come to a, you know, somewhat of an end because he was reunited with his daughter. So anyways, y'all, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. And most importantly, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you can be down with the notification squad. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.